It's been a little while now since you put out a record with G7. What happened mm -hmm. there? They just, they, you know, their priorities in life changed. They got excited about other mm -hmm. things and uh, they closed their doors. Right. I, at that point, though, too, I had kind of come to the conclusion that that partnership was was re really good for me for a while, but then that it sort of started to maybe um, plateau. You know, we were, those guys were getting bored of working that work and I needed a little bit more from them at the same time. So it was kind of a good thing that they, they shut their doors and we right. parted amicably. And then you come out with this album and you end up releasing it on your own label, which is a new label, this integration record. So mm -hmm. Was this something that you like planned to do for a while or did it just kind of come up when you were, didn't have no, to put something No, I had no interest in that at all. Actually, I had, I had never thought of it, but then uh, I've been working uh, in Winnipeg with a lot of younger artists who are really good and um, just people like my, my band, these guys are all in these other bands that are spectacular. And so I got really excited about their work and realized that I, I need a label, they need a label, why don't we just start one, you know, it's kind of a collective. And um, that was where it started, so what it's turned into is similar to that, but it's uh, a lot of work. And it's fun. It's, it's really interesting for me to be doing that side of things. I'm learning a lot about myself and about uh, community and business and all that kind of stuff. I had to write a 20-page business plan, which is unusual for me in my, my background. And I, I have had the chance to hear the new album. One thing that I kind of found is that the songs on the new album are kind of more stylistically diverse than on the previous albums. I, was this something that you consciously did when you were going in to make this album, or was it just a result of like the the creative collaboration in the process of making it? No, it was pretty intentional. Like, I, I had thought of um, a three record plan I made for myself. Mr. Invitation came out last year and it was kind of a band record. I have, I've been working with a really great band for a long time. Uh, two guys in particular, Steve Bates uh, and Mike Germain. And a third, Jason Tate, too. It was just great, uh, kind of a collaborative process we've, we've had. And that was sort of the ending of it. Like we had all gotten to the point where we were living in different cities and it's just too hard to keep it going. So that was a document of that band and how good we were. And then this record is kind of a in-between record between that and what I'm making this year, which is a solo record. Just guitar, vocals, and maybe some weird instrumentation here and there. But this is kind of a collection of songs that are more reflective of me as a songwriter more so than a band leader, you know? So some of them are just me and guitar, some of them are a bit more uh, layered, like you said, more produced. A celebration, party at my place tonight, little sister called around. 